I'm Melissa with NEMC, and I'm here to show you what you'll be doing when you get your first violin or viola. So you want to make sure that your case is on a flat surface, and that when you pull the latches, they come up so that your instrument doesn't fall out, and that's something we don't want on the first day. So in the case, you'll find your violin or viola, your bow, which I'll show you in a little bit, and in this compartment, you'll find some rosin. Now with the violin, you'll have a few of these things. You'll have your scroll up here. You have this peg box, the pegs right here, that help you tune these strings. You go further down the instrument, you'll have this tailpiece with these little fine tuners that also help with tuning. Your music educator will help you with that once you start playing. We also have another tutorial that will help you with that as well. Right under you'll find the chin rest, where you put your chin when you play, and you'll find the bridge. Right here are the F holes that have little notches that show where the bridge feet need to be lined up with when you play. Now we're going to put that back in the case. And you want to make sure that when you're not playing, that's where your instrument goes. You don't want it on a music stand, you don't want it on a chair, you don't want it on the floor, because these instruments are delicate and you don't want them to break. So now let's move on to our bow. So this is your bow. There's the tip right here, the stick, the grip, and the frog. Now these right here, these are hairs. Yes, I said hairs. These are horse hairs. Don't worry, no horses were harmed. It's just a little haircut, and they're kind of happy that they're going to music. So when you take it out of the case, you'll notice that they're very close to the stick. That's when you know they're loose. Now, in order to play, you need them tighter. So you use the adjust screw here, and right tight, like loosey. And you want to make sure it's not too tight where they're flinging out. You just want it to stay like this. And you want to make sure that you're not touching them because the oil in your hands can really mess up the, the hairs. So now, ready to play. See, you don't really hear much. So what we need is some rosin. So now, we're in a cool compartment. You can take the rosin out. And in order to get what's on this out, you need to scratch it. What I use, I use some sandpaper. You could also use a coin, a key, really anything around the house. Um, now you want to make sure that you really get in there and scratch it. It's, you're going to find some white powder. It gets a little sticky, but it looks like baby powder. So you want to make sure, especially your first time, you want to get a lot out of it. So now, just get the bow. Just pretend you're playing. You want to make sure that you get as much as you can on there, especially the first time. Um, every time you take out your, your violin or viola, you want to make sure you put a little rosin on there so you know it's going to play for you every time. And now, you should be ready to pull. So make sure you put your chin and your chin rest. Now it's working. So now, put that back. And before you put your bow back, you want to make sure you loosen it to where it was when you took it out of the case. So lefty loosey. And you're good. So now you put it back in the case. You want to make sure you lock it. So you put your in the way. And you want to make sure before you close it that you don't put any music or books or pens or pencils or anything because it could mess up the instrument and sometimes it could even mess up the bridge here don't worry if it does fall it's not glued in you can put it back up it's just ask your music educator and they'll help you with that so now we close it and make sure they're fully down and you're all set i really hope this tutorial helped you and happy music making